my fellow companions, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again today for the final episode of season two. Which I almost feel quite emotional about. This has been a very, very emotional season. But we'll talk about that once I've watched this episode. Because I need to know what the bloody hell is going on with the TARDIS. This episode is called Checkmate. Let go. The monk's got a TARDIS. Oh, Lord. Whoa. Is it like a replica? Holy moly. Something from every period and every place. What? Whatever he wants to do. Sink a ship? He'd sink a whole navy with that lot, I should think. But the point is, why would he want Why, yeah, why is he settled? In 1067. Sort of logbook, a sort of diary. Listen. Met Leonardo da Vinci. Who? Da Vinci, listen. Met Leonardo da Vinci and discussed with him the principles of powered flight. What? <gasps> I'm sure you'll approve, Doctor. Are you quite mad? You know as well as I do the golden rule about space and time traveling. Never, never interfere with the course of history. And who says so? Doctor, it's more fun my way. I can make things happen ahead of their time. Is that so? Yes, indeed. For instance, do you really believe the ancient Britons could have built Stonehenge without the aid of my anti-gravitational lift? And what's the mischief for you up to now? I don't allow anybody in there. Where is it? Hmm. This way, Doctor. I don't understand. Is he, he's a time meddler. Is that a time lord? Is that... How has he got a TARDIS? Wolf, where are you? Wolf! Luck. Hmm. Luck. Oh, no, there's no luck about it. I couldn't have picked a better place for my headquarters than this. Deserted monastery right on the coast. Gullible peasants who believe everything I say to them. Ha <laughs> ha, no, Doctor. No, I plan to materialize my ship on this very spot, disguised as a sarcophagus. And here it is. I see. And all this is part of your master plan. Hmm? Precisely. <laughs> There's nothing hit or miss about my machine. No, oh, isn't there now? Well, let's have a look at this great wonder. Hmm? Keep your eye on that young man. I thought I told you to wait outside the TARDIS. Oh, uh, yes. We, well, we, uh, you know. Oh, well, this is very surprising. That's a Mark IV. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. Is that later than yours, Doctor? <laughs> hmm? Oh, I forgot all about it. Oh, forgot? Forgot what, child? Hmm? Doctor. Doctor. Hmm? We haven't got a time machine anymore. Haven't we now? By the way, I tried to get into your police box, but the door was locked. <laughs> what type's yours, Doctor? Mind your own business. <laughs> Look, I take it you both come from the same place, Doctor. Yes, I regret that we do, but I would say that I am 50 years earlier. Now, when are you going to answer my questions, hmm? Which questions? The reason for this deliberate distraction. I... Do you hear what I said? Keep your nose away! Do you want to get a shot? This is a very dangerous business. Now, keep still all of you. Now, the vibrations. Ticklish. Get back, get back. Ah, there it is. Ha-ha! I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. <laughs> well, nothing's happened, Doctor. Hasn't it? Hasn't it, my dear boy? <laughs> Come on, aren't you going to tell us? Yes, sometime, my dear, sometime. Here, put that in your pocket. Quite safe. <laughs> Oh, is that the letter you wrote? Yes, for and the you keep your hands off it, young lady. No one who knows you into people's in personal, private problem, correspondence. Gracious me. Well, I think we've finished here now. Let's go. Oh, How could he stop a mark for? <laughs> Possibly one day in the future, when you've learned your lesson, I shall return and release you. Release me. Ah, me. Oh, the old fool. <laughs> oh. 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 What's 
to be done. He's taking my dimensional control. He's hurting my time machine. I'm marooned. Marooned. Then she. Wait, was that was that the three of them at the end? So confirming that Stephen's staying, right? I can't believe season two's done. <sighs> okay, I really enjoyed that story. I really enjoyed it. Um, Considering that it was the first story after Barbara and Ian, I, I think it was it was good enough that I wasn't just sat there mourning the loss of them. Um, just didn't didn't expect the time meddler. So is the time meddler from Gallifrey, and is he a time lord or is time meddler a different thing? Because he said they're from the same place. I just wasn't expecting that. Um, really nice Vicky has definitely grown into her character and it was nice to get to know Stephen a little bit so I guess that's the new team TARDIS then um, and Vicky and Stephen seem to have a really good relationship already together which is which is what you want to see so um yeah, I'm happy about I'm happy about him being the new companion. Actually, uh, I'm glad that we've got another male on board. I guess almost like an Ian 2.0. Right, it's time to rate the episodes. I haven't written the chase down yet because oh yeah, I did. This was called the. Oh, I've. This is interesting. I gave the chase nine out of ten in here. Um, what would I give the time meddler? It gave me the element of surprise. Um. It was a good one. I would probably put it just behind the chase. Um, I'd give it 7.5. Mm. Yeah. 7.5 out of 10. So let's have a look back at season two. I just can't believe I've done season two. <coughs> um, right, so my top three of season two, according to my official rating system, was in first place, the Space Museum. I know that was a controversial one, but I blinking loved that story. In second place is the Dalek Invasion of Earth. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Hmm. And then my joint third would be the chase and the Romans. My lowest ranking is the web planet. I just can't believe I've done season two. I'm excited. It makes me emotional when I've done a season because I know the first Doctor isn't in it forever, obviously. So I know he has to go at some point. It's just 
when and every season that's happening I'm like oh he's still here um yeah so I, I guess now it's just I assume the next loss is going to be the regeneration of the first doctor and I don't know how I'll feel about it um hmm that will be very interesting I just can't imagine there being another doctor now even though I know there are like this first doctor for me is like my classic who doctor like you just couldn't imagine anyone else being the doctor so that would be weird it would be very very strange um season two has been really good really really enjoyed it um really enjoyed it it's been a bloody roller coaster of emotions we lost susan ian and barbara um but some incredible stories and the leap between season one and season two in my opinion was massive i think they made some massive advances what to expect in season three i know that we have a hell of a lot of missing episodes which probably means that I will make my way through seasons three and four quite quickly, I think. Um, I'm really excited to see Stephen and Vicky together. Um, I'm apprehensive. I'm not sure I will ever feel as connected to a companion the way I was connected to Ian and Barbara and Susan, you know. Um, but you just don't know because you can go from, you know, watching one episode with someone and just thinking they're okay and then another episode will happen and they just flourish and you fall in love with them. So we'll see. Um, yeah, this season has definitely taught me you never know what's going to happen and stuff happens mid-series you know which doesn't really happen nowadays they'll kind of be like a finale uh i would recommend classic who to anyone who hasn't watched modern who if you can make your way past the first story and just keep going like you know even when the the fight scenes aren't the best and you can see the special effects not being its strongest it just doesn't bother me um, and I just have an utter respect for Doctor Who and Doctor Who in the 60s. I don't ever watch it and think, oh, that's so rubbish. And I hope that that comes across that even if, even if something may look weird, like in the rescue, I at all times respect what was Doctor Who in the 60s and what they had the capability of doing and um, what they were trying to do and even with the web planet I as much as I didn't like the story I absolutely respected what they were trying to do and I understood what they were trying to do it just wasn't for me so yeah another series done oh it makes me really sad because I just don't want to whiz through them but I know I've got a good couple of years left of, of reacting to them so that's it and I hope you enjoyed guys thanks for joining me for season two i hope you stay on board with season three and all the seasons to come uh, on this crazy 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 classic who journey um and i hope you all have a lovely day it's very very stormy and windy here um don't know why i'm telling you that but it is and um that's it and i'll see you super soon bye everybody